Today I'm going to show you how to make a steampunk hand cannon. I've made the stock for the gun by gluing together a few pieces of wood into a stock shape. The next stage is to smooth this down using a spoke shave and sander. Here's the shaped rifle stock. I've cut a shallow channel in the top of the stock. This doesn't need to be too neat because this is going to be covered by the barrel once it's mounted. I want to add a brass plaque to the butt of the gun. So before I varnish the stock, I'm going to draw around the brass plaque and then I'm going to cut out a small recess. Cut a small indentation in the rifle stock that allows me to mount the plaque flush with the rest of the wood. I've applied two coats of varnish to the rifle stock. I've screwed the two etched brass plaques into place. I've fitted a trigger, which is a carved wooden peg, fitted into a hole in the rifle stock. I've fitted a trigger guard over the top of the trigger, which is a brass handle from a hardware store. The barrel for the piece is going to be made from this brass tube taken from a spraying unit. I've extended the barrel by adding a second piece of brass tube to the end of the spraying unit. I'm now going to attach this to the stock using some copper strips stretched over the top of the brass and screwed into the wooden stock. This is the burner section from a brass blowtorch. I'm simply going to attach this to the side of the gun using the nut section here. Here's the burner section connected to the piece. I'm going to take this magnifying glass, which I've got off this third hand hobby tool, and I'm going to mount this on top of the barrel to act as a sight. Here's the magnifying sighting glass screwed into place. Because I've used the adjustable connections from the third hand, this can be folded out of way for ease of transport. For the front sight, I'm going to mount this 15mm brass pipe clip to the top of the barrel and hold it in place by stretching a piece of brass around the stock of the gun. Here's the front sight mounted. I've left the bolt sticking out on either side because I think this adds to the look. To add decoration, I've nailed upholstery tacks into the butt of the stock. I've screwed a brass loop into the butt, which allows me to attach a carrying strap. Because I'm going to use this as a prop for a short film, I've also included a piece of ammunition. This is just a brass syringe. Because of the type of brass tube I've used, I have a connection at the back which I can unscrew, insert the ammunition, and then close again. Here's the completed piece. 